As I compile my notes and thoughts for hybrid this week, I am acutely aware of one person from whom I will never be able to receive verbal answers. My father, who died last summer after battling Alzheimer's for a number of years. Now that realization became more poignant when my mother walked up the stairs and delivered an 18-page handwritten speech about her life that she had composed, oh, about a decade ago for a retreat she was going on. Her description of how she and my dad became engaged in India because they couldn't be seen in public walking together unless they were engaged was news to me. I only wish I could have asked my father what he thought when my mother informed him that the only way they could continue to associate was for them to be engaged. He did agree, by the way. In framing the introduction for hybrid, I clarify how I'm sharing my memories and understanding of why I am who I am in light of my hybrid upbringing. I'm so grateful that I have many living family members who are graciously informing me when asked. And for any of you with living parents, don't forget to ask them everything you want to know now, because you never know when that time will be gone. It's strange, there are many times when I feel like I know exactly what my father would have said. I just miss hearing his voice. My hybrid journey, week five. For updates, check out my Facebook page, Twitter, angelswithshoes.com, LinkedIn, and my YouTube channel. I'll be back next week. Don't forget to share.